Yo, 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 yo. Hey, everybody. Hey, Crush. Hey, Rubes. How's everybody been? Long time no speak. I wasn't here last week. But I'm here this week. I almost wasn't. I was working super, super late as Crush knows. And I was not too happy about it. But it's done now. And I'm here catching up with my friends. Catching some moms. Bravo, bravo. You're too kind. Too kind, sir. Um, managed to put together a bit of a list of uh, the Pokemons we still need to catch. Um, so just to get started, I've already sorted the team out. So we've got a team that should be alright for catching stuff, even if it's a uh, lowish level. Um, I've also got these three jerks in my party. Uh, we have Thugnificent. Scraffy or something like that, I think his name is. Uh, Buddy, which turns into the big cool dragon Pokemon that everybody keeps using to kick my ass. And Darumaka. Now, obviously, we were at the end of last session trying to get these three guys to evolve. I don't remember. I think they were just all levels. But if you just confirm that for me, Crush, if you know, uh, just to save us carrying around any dead weight. And hopefully, that should be at least three we've caught by the end of today. <laughs> um, I have my handy dandy scribe here, Smug Waifu. Hello. And she's going to be um, helping me keep track of what we need and in what order. Awesome. They all level up through... Well, they all evolve through leveling up. That's a good start. Um, uh, Crush says hi, Smog Waifu. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, that's okay, Crush, man. I think we've both had pretty bad days, but I'm just glad that you're here to chat with me, man. Um, what's first on our list, Smog Waifu? Wow. Well. Depends what kind of order you want to go in. If we're going from like, we're going from the top from, down. from the bottom, yeah, or fr from the lowest number, two hundred and fifty, whatever it was. Okay, so the lowest number we have that we know, and um, we know what the answer, what the monster is, what the Pokemon is, is, is Spritzy. 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 That's that pink bird thing, isn't it? it looks like a little puffball flamingo. Okay. Without the legs. Let's go see where that thing lives. Or the neck. It's just pink. <laughs> Uh, what number was it? Uh, two, twelve. That oh, box was right next to it. Oh, what have I done? Down, down. Two, twelve. Spritzy. All right. If we've got the evolved. See, it's got a, like a little. It looks like a flamingo in the face. Hmm? It kind of reminds me of Birdo from Super Mario. Uh -huh. Right. Okay. So Spritzy, we need to find its habitat. <laughs> habitat unknown. Mm -hmm. Great. Brilliant. Marvelous. Uh, Dracloak will evolve next time it levels up. Scraggy at level 37 and Darumaka at level 35. Excellent. Ooh, so nice. those three are all pretty, clo pretty close. So Spritzy's a bust for now. Okay, let's go to Sir Fetched then at 2.19. Now Crush has told me how we do Sir Fetched. And I think he said I couldn't do it during the night time. It's something like you have to get its friendship level super high. Uh, and it will evolve at a certain time of day or something like that. But I don't think we can do that tonight. Okay. So we'll put a pin in Surfetched as well. Okay. Um, yeah, ah, okay. So Crush says the reason we couldn't find that pink thing is because it's from the other game. Oh. It's a Shield exclusive. So I'll have to bully Naz or Wolfie to send me one over. Yeah, they'll be bullied. It's fine. <laughs> so is this Krogunk? Krogunk. So hopefully we've got Habitat... Oh, fuck. Okay, Habitat Unknown for Krogunk. I'm sure I've seen some of these guys just loafing around somewhere. And I'm guessing he'll be the same, because he's the evolved version of that other guy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Not Surfetched. Farfetched evolves through getting uh, a crit three times in a single battle. That's what it was. I knew it was something mad wow, like that. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. That's How what... do you figure that out? <laughs> like, I, I find that absolutely amazingly... Yeah, there's some, I don't, I just there's don't... some really crazy ones. Crush has been telling me about some super obscure ones, like... Um, you have to be holding like two specific types of Pokemon or like <laughs> holding an item and it jumps into the item and evolves that way. Yeah, there's some really, really mad wow. ones. Oh, yes, Crush. That would be really great, actually. If you wouldn't mind trading it next week, that would be brilliant. The, the Surf Etched. So we don't have to worry about that. Krogan to and Toxicroak, right off. We're about to evolve Scrafty because. Scraggy, Scraggy is Scraggy. In, into Scrafty. Scrafty. Yeah. 
Uh, Barbicide? It's not Barbicide, it's Barbicle, that's the one. So we have a binacle, although I think we called it Boris's beefy arms or something, but I'm pretty sure we traded it. That's horrifying. So let me double check my inventory. What's it called? A binacle, but I'm pretty sure I traded the one we had because it was funny. Echo's on. Hey, Echo's here. Hey, hey Echo. How's it going, man? Thanks for joining us, buddy. A smug wife who's here joining me. I'm hoping to clear down this Pokedex a bit faster. Okay, so where are we now? We're looking for whatever that... The binacle. Bin well, binacle, because there's two of them. It's clever, that. Well remembered. So we need to search. Oh, Krogan is always, also a uh, shield exclusive, by the uh, way. Okay, so we're going to have to bully um, Wolfie to give us one of those as well. Uh, binacle. Badoom. So, search. Binacle. Binacle. <laughs> <gasps> there he is! Boris Bear Arms! Oh, okay. <laughs> so, this isn't Billy. Boris Bear Arms, but I think we've somehow got another one, probably from a wonder Billy. trade. Billy! <laughs> also, he killed a bear! <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So, we've got a Billy. Let's put Billy in our party. Oops. It's fine, I know where he is now. Billy! Um, let's take Decker out, because we're not getting rid of Zuria, because Decker's here. Right. Right. Um, so, so binacle. Hey Boris, thanks for joining us, man. Good to see you. Um, any idea, Crush, how we evolve the binacle, how we evolve Billair into his next form? Hopefully it's just levels as well. In the, in fact, I should just be killing a couple of monsters here so we can make some space. I want to evolve my binacle. I've been working on that for hours. It's really good. Well done. <laughs> yep, just leveled up, says Crush. Brilliant. So we should be able to get at least four in a minute. Hey, this is the guy we're trying to evolve. Come on, Scraggy. <laughs> Let's kiss Scraggy. Hey, Boris is here just in time, actually. The Pokemon we're using is Boris's Pokemon. Aww. Uh, it has a habit of dying whenever Boris jumps in the chat, oh, so no. it's nice that it survived at least one round. It's thick. <laughs> Damn, boy! <laughs> thick! She's got a booty. Look at that booty! She's building a brick house, girl. <laughs> The heady days of wandering around fields, beating up animals. Reminds me of my childhood. Just keep on smooching this guy to death. Ah, oh, cool. What are you grinding on, Boris? What are you playing at the minute? I was playing um, Among Us last night with a couple of friends, and uh, I was terrible at it. <laughs> I, however, was pretty damn good. I never realised I was so sneaky. <laughs> oh, a game. I see. <laughs> Snarky. <laughs> Boris is mad because I've been promising him I'll play a game called The Witch of the Hundred Knight for like two and a half years. No. Oh, <laughs> still, no. still haven't played it yet. I don't think he's ever going to forgive me. Does he want you to play it because it would be funny to watch you play it or because it's a really good game and he really likes it? Um, I don't know. I mean, it could be an absolutely awful game and he just wants me to suffer through it, but I don't think Boris plays bad games. He's got pretty good taste. <laughs> Exit. Who is Boris grinding? <laughs> Cheeky. Well, Iris, look at her. She's thick. She's got booty. <laughs> Dare play the Witch in the Hundred Night is the day that Crush gets in a into, bleh, gets into a lasting relationship. I'll get on it, buddy. I'll get on it for you. That would be my favour for you. I'll supply playing the Witch in the Hundred Night, but you have to... I know Eka can supply the prostitutes. <laughs> Sweet <laughs> promises empty hopes. But think how sweet and satisfying it will be when it finally happens. After you've waited all those years. And you're like, in, in 30 years time when you're a shriveled up old Boris. And you're like, oh, I remember the days when Smoke said, Hit, oh, what's this notification on my phone? Oh, and then, if you don't have a heart attack, um... 
it'll be a really exciting time and it'll make it be and worth the wait. And then in comes a wonderful person and goes, hello, dearie. <laughs> I can't carry on without laughing. <laughs> oh, can I have a cup of tea with you? Do you want to share me hobnobs? <laughs> Partial to a digestive. <laughs> it was supposed to be self-deprecating how it'll never happen but thanks man don't keep me waiting that's cool man I got your back <laughs> what? Hello, Foxy. Uh, yes we've caught one called, uh, called what do we call it it was named after Sterling wasn't it but it was a girl we called it Sterlita so is it a fox or is it a Pokemon fox uh, it's a Pokemon fox okay. called Fennekin, something like that? No, something sneakier than that. It's like sneaky fox face or something like that. <laughs> That's probably right. <laughs> Boris doesn't have a phone with notifications. Basically, the Boris is like... Um, oh, what's he called? That American folk guy who like lived in the woods and cut down trees. Basically, that's Boris. He lives in the woods and he cuts down trees. <laughs> oh, yeah, that famous guy. The famous... <laughs> that famous what's his guy. name? Um, Boris. Yeah, you oh, know. Yeah, Boris. Well aware. Well Absolute aware. legend. Oh, bollocks. We're not getting any XP for this, are we? Shit. Ooh. See, this is what I'm talking about. As soon as Boris appears, Iris snuffs it. She's alive. She's fine. She never felt better. Boris Bear Grylls. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Come on, Thugnificent, you're nearly there, boy. Ekka's got the right attitude. It's all about love, baby. Oh, I'll show you one of these foxy boys, and then we'll find out what they're actually called. I'm pretty sure it was Sneaky Fox Face. Oh, he's lovely. Nick it, that's it. That sounds right. And when he evolves, he turns into this really dashing, debonair looking sword fighter fox. Oh, with a real snooty mush. I love everything about that. He's pretty great. Let's get let's get Iris some health back. Look at his little eyes. Oh, kiss him. He's got a big kissable forehead. I mean, I would kiss it to death too, to be fair. It's a bit heavy on the makeup though. Hey. Gagging for it, that hey. fox is. Leave him. Leave him. If he wants to wear eyeliner, I'm, wear I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be the one who's uh, looting Pokemon. That's Crush's job. <laughs> Crush likes Pokemon porn. He doesn't. I just, I just like to. Wow. Make, I just like to make things. Wow. Up about I wasn't people. talking about how I would want one as a pet, but you went. You took it there. Wow. <laughs> Come on, Darumaka. You can do it. Get the name. Nick it. Steal it. Ha ha ha. <laughs> this Pokemon looks to me like a vacuum thing. He used to clean carpets. Ooh, he's a big boy. He's a friend of Nickit's. They're burglars, but a pair of them. Yeah, that's the ladder he uses to get to the top, <laughs> to get floor. To the top floor. Yeah, he just like climbs on the back of Steelix. Imagine oh, like pulling back your curtains and seeing that fucking mush staring you in the face. Ooh, oh, that babe, wasn't you could... that wasn't very good that's at not, all. That was not very effective. Boris, look away. <laughs> you don't need to see this. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Protect the badonk. Uh, okay, let's pull out Azuria. Azuria's gonna kick everything's ass. This is the most beautiful Pokemon I've caught. Well, I mean, I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't catch it. It was gifted to me by a friend. But oh, look at that, beautiful. Oh, super shiny. Make it snow, make it snow. I compliment the looks of Gardevoir one time, and you never shut up about me wanting to back Pokemon. <laughs> Smug's info, the game I try making play is similar to Disgaea in the sense of humour. Yeah. There's really no reason I haven't played it. It looks right up my street. I'm just a terrible human being. <laughs> Blah! You're not a terrible human being at all. You're just literally catching 65 more Pokemon before you do anything else. That's what it is. Yeah. And then I'll definitely be on it. Yeah. Oink. Oink. <laughs> It was decided uh... um, While I'm fighting all these Pokemon, actually, we should know the next one to head towards. 
Because we figured out that we're just going to evolve Boris Bear Arms, didn't we? So. It's not called Boris Bear Arms, it's called Billy. 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 So after Barbacle, we have... Hatterene! Yes, I really wanted you to catch this one. How do we catch this one? She's beautiful. Have we seriously not... We've seen like 10 of these on the island where the Eevees are. If I could be Jesus a Pokemon, I'd be a Hatterene. Why? Because you look like a dollop of ice cream with a hat on top? Um, yes, but also it's like my love of pastel colours, but also Hogwarts. If you flip it upside down, it kind of looks like a butt plug. I mean, it does, and I'm okay with that. Like, you might as well. <laughs> That's fair. Spirit Pokemon. <laughs> um, where's the hat tree? Where's this thing live? I'm sure I've seen these. Yeah, over on the Eevee Island. That's where we'll head now. <laughs> no way. That's ridiculous. <laughs> nice. Crush has got my back. He knows what I'm talking about. We are balls. Scrub here. I uh, got a whole load of Pokemon cards for my birthday. It was awesome. In fact, uh, Naz talk play here sometimes in the chat. He bought me um, that Marnie deck that I was showing you, Crush. It's really cool. This is uh, Psybeam. Oh, fun fact, that Pokemon you just chose is the most looted Pokemon of this generation. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I knew I was drawn to it for a reason. If I was made out of ice cream, though, I would just eat myself. Is she made out of ice cream? Uh, that one isn't, no. There is a Pokemon called Al Creamy who is a giant ice cream. Al Creamy? Al, Al Creamy. A Al Creamy. You see, Crush, you think you don't teach me anything, and then sometimes when I'm... Out of context, I'll, I'll remember stuff that you taught me. Out of context, smug is all about the Pokemon. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm really disappointed now because I thought Hatterene, the most looted Pokemon of all time, was also made out of ice cream. And I was like, this legit is the, is the one. So that's one of the metal things used to connect steel. Um, Boris is a handyman, which is why we named Boris Bear Arms after him. Obviously. He's a big, strong dude and he puts the rest of us to shame. Apart from Eka, who's got powerful legs. Oh, Al Creamy is just cream, not ice cream. Oh. So you'd have to attack it with some kind of frozen ice powers, and then you'd be able to eat it. Well, what cream. about the one that actually looks like the blue frozen cone thing? That one does look like an ice cream. There's a lot of there's a lot of Pokemon that look like food. Now I'm thinking about it. Isn't there one that's just a set of keys as well? Yes, uh, and there's uh, one that's just a big sword that usually lives at the top of this hill. Um, Brilliant. Just just love it. I love the have, design where, of them. Where am I? I need to get to Eevee Island. What was the last one we played? What did we play when we were in Tenerife? Um, Sun and Moon, I think? Oh, we were was all Sun, about Sun and Moon. Crush, crush will know. Um, crush, the one that was set in like the Hawaiian area? The Aloha? Yes, the, uh, that was Sun and Moon, wasn't it? I think. Ah, Crush says Vanillish is the ice cream Pokemon. <gasps> nice. Look at this little guy. <laughs> I really, I really wish there was that, you know, that cartoon clip of like, oh, Vanillish, the, the little voice that used to do the, on the. Vanillish, the ice cream. Pokemon. The ice cream Pokemon. That, I would really love that. That's how I imagine time. Crush speaks, because pretty much ninety percent of what he puts down in the chat is him giving me Pokemon advice. So I imagine just in real life, that's actually how he sounds. It was Sun and Moon. The, was Sun and Moon. He's the Oracle. Look at this guy. This guy. Have you got him? I've already got one. Oh. Did we need to catch a trubbish? I've lit. That's some kind of terrible Totoro. What have they done? They've made him my Totoro babies. Sweet. Garbage. We've got this one. We've got. What's this? <laughs> this is the top plug Pokemon that you wanted. <gasps> Yay! Alright, let's do this, guys. Time for the first real catch of the night. 20 minutes in. Let's do this thing. Uh, give it a smooch. Okay. Just as planned. <laughs> oh, what? She's got a weird hat under her hat. I love her. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I, I would have guessed that, Crush. If you said what was the most looted Pokemon of all time, uh, I know exactly who it would be and not for any good reason. Can <laughs> NTRs. Uh, right. Who... NTR. And uh, Netarare. Uh, the most looted Pokemon of all time is Hypno because there's loads of um, loads of him like 
hypnotizing people. And... Yeah, super gross. And he's always depicted as this gross old fat Pokemon. Oh no. Yeah. Not the nurse. Not Chansey. <laughs> Chansey. It's just an egg. I don't even know how you would. <laughs> yeah. An egg with some quacks. <laughs> I think Volnova's probably going to kill it. So. Now let's keep Iris out and let's see what False Swipe does. And hopefully Iris doesn't die in one hit. Oh, the nurse that heals the Pokemons. Oh, yeah. I mean, if we're talking people, then it would probably be Sabrina. The... What just happened? Oh, okay. Come on, keep false swiping. Come on, come on, come on. So, I, I, we use this move to try and catch Pokemon, because false swipe can never kill a Pokemon. It can only ever take them down to one hit point. So, Iris is super useful to have. If I come across, like, a level one Pokemon that would just die if I even looked at it funny. I can use that, just bonk it on bonce. And then throw a ball at it. And I think I forgot to buy great balls, guys. So we might have to use something other than the greatest of balls. Shit, okay. What are we gonna use? It looks pretty luxurious. We catch I it was up. just about to say, give her a luxury ball. Okay. Go on. Luxury oh. ball it is. Give the butt plug a luxury ball in. <laughs> Disgust them. <laughs> <laughs> One, two. Son of a butt bitch. plug. <laughs> yeah, Espeon and Umbreon. <laughs> they don't even look remotely human. That's super gross. Uh, what about a moon ball? Oh no, that's Moonstone. You know what? That, I'm, uh, no, I'm not going to say what I was going to say. Something dream like... ball because she's so dreamy. That's nice, but isn't that better for like sleepy Pokemon? I mean, yeah. <laughs> so maybe just use a normal ball. Okay, I'll use a premium ball because she's pretty premium. So she's not luxury, she's more of a premier in. Yeah, for sure. Boop. She's no Hilton. Boop. You cheeky little God garden. damn it. So Smuggy's gonna boink it and then throw balls. You know it, baby. Boink the butt plug, then ball it. Oh shit. Iris, no. So what? you know what I said about Iris always dying? <laughs> Boris. That's what you get for Sassamy, Boris. <laughs> uh, Billy! <laughs> Billy's gonna die. Let's send Buddy. Let's send Buddy. Come on, Buddy. I think we called him Buddy because I threw about, if I remember, we threw so many Pokeballs. I was like, come on, Buddy. Come, come on, Buddy. Come on, buddy. Uh, okay, let's just throw some Ultra Balls because we've got lots of them. Oh, Boris is just that I'm used to it. Poor guy. <laughs> Crap. I'm not throwing a Master Ball, although I do have four of them now. Uh, Just give her a cheap old Pokeball. Okay. you got 33 of them. She's a bit cheap. Let's maybe throw she's, cheap maybe balls at her. Maybe she's not a classy lady and she doesn't understand. Maybe she just wants to be a behind Tesco. I definitely didn't like a Pokeball. Stop trying to heal yourself. I need you with no... Uh, okay, it's dark, right? It's night time. Let's do this. Dark Ball it is. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know who Zeb Striker is. Uh, but get Yay! yes. But by the sound of it, it, sounds like a zebra, so we should absolutely not be zebra porn under no circumstance. <laughs> Billy. Specifically zebra. Specific horse is fine, donkey's fine. Um, what about Shetland mm, pony? Bit bit pedoey. Um, well. <laughs> um. Oh, Hatterini! It emits psychic power strong enough to cause headaches as a deterrent to the approach of others. I like it. I really, really wish she I just could have that power. Gives people headaches. Yeah, they leave them I was alone. like, oh no, please leave me alone, boss. Oh, I'm just gonna pretend give you a little headache. You'll leave me alone then. Yes. Don't call it smug waifu. <laughs> Why not? Okay. okay. You know what? I'm fine with <laughs> I it. I put up such a. You put up such a fight. Don't do that. Why not? I'll go on then. All right then. I'll allow it. Just spits. Ta -da! <laughs> Are you saying I cause you a headache? <laughs> <laughs> so that means, if I remember to set it up. Oh, I can cross something off the list. Oh, yeah, goddamn, I remembered. Katarina, you cheeky little so and so. Boop. Excellent. Uh, so, let's go back into the Pokedex and see what's next on the list. I love that Crush is giving us every single generation's top lewd. He knows his shit, man. That's just, that's He's a, a level boy. of dedication. 
He's a good boy. He knows what the, he knows what the audience wants. Sandlet. Oh, okay. So these can be found down here uh, during the daytime, though. So we're probably gonna have to give him a miss for now. He, I imagine, is just the evolved. Yeah, he's the evolved form of that other one. Uh, throw. I'm betting that is also gonna be a shield exclusive because oh, I've it? caught that guy, and they look like. Yeah. Oh, good chat. You know what? I'm gonna write. I'm gonna do a little circle around these ones. Cool. So who do who are you saying? Uh, throw. What's the salazzle? And why haven't we got one? <laughs> Where's salazzle? Oh, this is next on the list down here. Two, four, five. Yeah, there's a bunch here that we haven't seen yet, so we don't know where to get this from. Uh, goth eater. Oh my god, yes. Let's go. All the cuties. Uh, it's cloudy. It's kind of cloudy. Maybe we can go and have a look. So where is it? It's the other side of this lake. I like that the, the evolution is Gotharita. Like, that could get quite confusing around the dinner table, couldn't it? Gothita, Gotharita! Oh, are you talking to me, Mum? No, no, I was talking to your sister, love. <laughs> like, couldn't that get really... I mean, if you've got a whole bunch of Pokemon around the dinner table, you're already in a pretty strange place. I mean, yeah, fair. Ooh, just... Yeah, I, I want to know if these things exist in real life. I think they would fucking destroy your legs trying to paddle over water, but I think they could probably work. Well, that pedalo nearly killed us, didn't it? Yeah, we we did not do so well on the pedalo. <laughs> kind of pedal ourselves out into the middle of the lake and then um, we're too lazy to pedal back. <laughs> <laughs> we just, just floated for a bit. <laughs> floated for half an hour. Um, good times, good times. So we need the evolved version like of that guy. Yeah, it's just, it's. I think it's a ghost carrying knives Someone maybe? just have some clip art and go, oh, that'll do. Sandlet evolves into Salazzle only if it's female. Ooh, that's an interesting little tidbit. So, do we have a Sandlet? Sa Salandit. 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 No, you don't. It's also on the list. Bollocks. So, it was somewhere down here, wasn't it? It was like the other side of the lake, so it was along here somewhere. We're looking for a Goth Eater. Yes. No, sorry. Goth Eater. Goth Lolita. We're looking for a Goth Lolita. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Turtle was alarmed. Looking for my golf GF. Looking for my big titty golf GF. Uh, oh, we've already got one of these guys. Kill it for the experience. It's pretty good. The only downside of having... Um, Vulnova out first is that you have to watch that extra snow animation every time. Oh, that is irritating. It's the worst. I <laughs> <laughs> don't know how we get by. don't know how we survive. Come on, Thugnificent. I know you're nearly there, boy. He just wants to learn swagger. Should have called him Jagger. So Smug is looking for Rory Mercury. I do not know what that means. Let's kill this chinchilla looking motherfucker. Oh my god! That's too cute to be alive. Yeah, let's let's murder it. One more level. One more level and our little orange baggy trouser boy gets to evolve. dead. Ah, okay, I don't understand it because I've not watched the gate anime. I'm guessing he means Stone's Gate. Not seen it, have you? No. We just finished watching um, the latest season of Fruits Basket last night. It was very good. Yeah, it was very good. Very good. Very good. Or just check out the hentai of it. Yeah, that's probably an easy way of doing things. <laughs> I don't know if this counts as cloudy. It seems more sandstormy, so maybe we should move on. Because I'm not seeing any goth lolitas here. Ah! I'm sure we've got an evolved form of one of these to catch as well. 
Oh, okay. The the anime is just called Gate. Ah, I've not seen Gate either, actually, so I still don't know what's going on there. But I'll add it to my list. <laughs> I'll watch it after I finish playing Witch Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a bad man. Fuck, I'm the worst. Um, okay, she's not going to work so good against a fire Pokemon, really, so let's, let's go for Buddy. Come on, Buddy. <laughs> Crush says he's gatekeeping. Very good. Oh. That hurt pretty bad. Is that creature two creatures? Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like he's a lizard, but he's got a smaller lizard living on his head. Are they connected? Or is it like his twin? I thought it was like a little lamprey thing that was just like... A parasite. Yeah. Just like... They blink at the same time, though. They are, that lends credence to the whole parasite idea. Oh, where have I gone? See you then, I guess. <laughs> Fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> Ooh, he's a toughie, eh? He is, he's a bit of a prick. Hey! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> well done, lizard boy. He's a little kitey boy. Fuck. Stop spitting rocks at me. Fuck me. Buddy, no! Buddy! Buddy's parasite. <laughs> Buddy's other buddy. <laughs> Little buddy. Oh my god, the what? name was literally friendship. There we go. Oh, I, obviously, so nice. I obviously knew what I was doing. Um, I guess we're just going to have to fucking tank it with, uh, with Azuria. Azuria's used to tanking hits. It's fine. Azoria. Yeah, uh, because it's a uh, traded over shiny foreign. I couldn't rename it like you know. So we call it Azuria, even though we can't actually call it Azuria in game. I see. Thank you for explaining. And good riddance. Come on, level up, Thugnificent. Oh, I'll show you how much I hate these rabbits. Ah, that was a chinchilla boy. I don't hate the chinchilla boys. It's the rabbits I don't like. They've got fists on their ears. It's not natural. Not natural. Thugnificent, you're so close. You're just taking the piss now. Uh, how many to go till Smug is done with the catching? Um, we've got 64 left. 64 out of 400. Holy crap! What is that? That is that yeah. is not right. It's nasty, isn't it? I mean, its face That's is covered. That's a nice guy, Bunny. Yeah, it looks like it should be wearing a little fedora. <laughs> He does have a fedora, and he manages to fit those little heads, <laughs> their little hands in. Madam, please. Um, actually. <laughs> actually, Boris, we caught about 24 Pokemon last week, so... <laughs> oh, wait, no, it wasn't last week. It was the week before. Shit. <laughs> Shut up, Boris. <laughs> Oh, Crush says it's nice to have uh, have you here keeping me company. Aw, oh, thanks. Thugnificent! It's nice to be able to join you. Oh, Crush, you fibbed to me. You told me it was one more level. Oh, Crush, you've done me, mate. Ooh. Oh, I think it's this guy we've not got. Who is this guy? It looks like Zora Magdaros. He's a big old colossal. Colossal. I don't remember writing down Colossal. Oh, maybe we have already got one then. How do you know? It'll tell me when, when he pops up here. 
It could be one that we don't know the number of. Ah, oh, no, we've already got one. Boo! Nah. Uh, I don't have to fight this guy. He's fire type. That's okay, Crush. We all make mistakes. I mean, I don't, but most people do. Maybe it was the baby coal I've not got yet. I'm sure it was one of the three. Come on. Tell me we've not got this one. I want to add another one to my catch list. Who's this? Is this one we haven't got? I don't know. I think so. Maybe. I'm sure there was one of the three that I hadn't got yet. No, we've got him as well. I must have caught them the other week and forgot all about it. He was not worth very much experience. Um, <laughs> Shall I try this thing? <laughs> have you got one of those things? I don't know. I don't know where you're looking at the list. I haven't drawn a picture of each of the, uh, the Pokemon. I think that's where we've let ourselves down. <laughs> Gonna have to draw and write a little description prepared. of each one as well. I should have prepared a little bit more. Boldor. I think I'd recognise someone with such big orange chunky cheese teeth. <laughs> I like his little dance that he's doing, though. He's, he's got little Doritos for shoes. Ah, if we catch him, we'll call him Doritos. Oh, oh you've we've got, got him. How do you not know that you've got a cheesy Dorito what? man? Like, how do you not know that? We've caught, like, 340 <laughs> of them. I can't be expected to remember. Uh, and a lot of them look like lumps of rock with <laughs> stupid cheese faces, to be fair. <laughs> Come on, Billy. Come on, Billy. Billy. We all rely on you, Billy. Come on, Billy. You got all these fucking Pokemon. <laughs> Cactus boys yeah. and girls. Could be. Oh, Alright. I know, look at these guys. Then we've got Get DLC, rude. I get a shiny bike. Screw your confetti bike, boy. Ooh, oh, little oh, 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 we need one of those. Stand still. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that cactus was going to steal it from my grasp. We need one of these. We couldn't, it wasn't showing up on our... Excellent. Is it a girl? We only want it if it's a girl. Ah. At least we know the area, so if we don't want this, if this one Come turns on. out to be a useless male. I don't want one of those boys. It's female. Excellent. Is that what the signs mean? I don't actually know what the signs mean. It's easy to remember, because the one that points down yeah. is like a vag, and the one that points oh, up babe, no. is like a penis. Oh, you minging. That's, that's, what, it's, minging. that's what they're supposed to be. Oh, but there's no need Look to at say the, the word symbol. bad. She's there. Minge, then, if you prefer. Oh, you dirty little shit. I can't believe you didn't know that. That's what they're supposed to be, male and female. Well, now I know. There and you now go. I'm you learned something new. I got a suspicion. <laughs> Smug's in the cult of Billy. 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 <laughs> What's that even from? Adventure Time? Adventure Time. Okay. Billy! Billy! Also, he fought a bear! Billy and his big old beef fingers. I'm not good with... Oh, don't kill it. Don't kill it. Oh, Azoria. Azoria. Come on. Come on, buddy. Eka. Naughty. How did I not know the gender symbols? You ask a very good question there. Um... And you're a gynecologist for a living. <laughs> How did you... Honestly. How did I not know? <laughs> Come on. It's all tattooed down there, isn't it? With the little <laughs> gender symbols. Um... Good well, question. we gotta hope. I we can find... barely distinguish my left from my right. To be fair, you see how we're perfect for each other. <laughs> oh, we're never gonna find another one of those little lizards. And they're really, really rare when they're female. Less than fifteen percent chance. Oh, crush. And we just happen to run into one. <gasps> what is that thing? It's fluffy. Yes. Come on, lady. Fingers Come on, crossed. Lady. Fingers on, crossed. Lady. Show us your wedge. <laughs> Come on, lady, show us your wag. <laughs> Come on, snick it. Show me those snickety boos. <laughs> right, maybe Shocking. we shouldn't use the big scary attack. I think you might be right. It said not very effective, so I didn't think it was going to do shit. Okay, but... It's male. Piss. Kill it. Kill it with fire. 
We were running out of moves here. <laughs> Boris says, this is karma for keeping me dead. If Iris was alive, we could have used that move that knocks him down to one. Mm, You've done me, Boris. You've absolutely done me. You're an evolved level 84 Pokemon. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, this you true. guys worry about the details too much. 15% chance this and never gonna happen that. <laughs> Let's let's fucking bring Iris back. From I think that's a really good idea. Yeah. Because I've got a terrible feeling we're never going to see another lady lizard. <laughs> lady lizard. Shut your lady lizard lips. You can shut your lady lizard lips. Right, Iris is back, baby. You lout. Now, Boris has just basically promised me that <laughs> if I bring Iris back, we'll catch a, a girl lizard straight away. Girl lizard, that's girl the lizard, impression lizard. I got from what girl Boris lizard, just said. Lizard, so. Girl lizard. There's lots of fluffy boys. Just, oh, oh, it's okay. oh my god, girl lizard, come on! Girl lizard. I thought it was going to be one of those zigzagoons. Girl lizard, girl lizard, come on. Boops, 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 boops. Yeah. Oh, oh, Boris! No. Thank you, Boris! <laughs> Boris. Boris. <laughs> okay, right, let's... Uh, should we try side beam? No, no, we should probably, we should probably just fall. Just, just fall swipe it. Crush, you should know by now. <laughs> I, I, I get lucky. <laughs> I'm a Sir lucky Lassel boy. Sir is looted. Why? It's just a lizard. You may as well just loot an actual lizard and then oh, go yeah. straight to jail. Love me a gecko. <laughs> <laughs> go straight to jail. Do not pass go. Do not pass, collect 200 pound. Right. Let's use a Dusk Ball, because we want to catch this guy quick. Or this girl quick. Lady. This lady. <gasps> Come on. Hot Daniel. Yes! yes! Woo! Oh, see, sweet Salastrods. That is a catch, Barber. So that's a Salandit. Check. <laughs> Can't stop scare these. I'm all in for opening. I ain't a scaly. I'm assuming that means someone who faps to like lizard porn. Shame. Shame. Scalist. Right. Oh, look at his little face. It looks like gravy if she was a lizard. Its venom sacs produce a fluid that this Pokemon then heats up with the flame in its tail. This process causes Sandlet's poisonous gas. So it's a farty Pokemon is basically what Oh, no, no, no. He just burp farts. He's just gassy. So we've got a female one of those, Crush. Do we just need to get that up in levels as well? Oh, good. We finally got some Pokemon that aren't just in the wild zone. That's going to make things a lot easier for us. Uh, what are we going to call it? It needs a name. I was going to call it Queen Latifah. Um, <laughs> but uh, I don't have enough no. letters. No, no, not Queen Latifah. It's got to have like a proper woman name. Dame. Judy. <laughs> Dame, Dame Judge Ju Judy. Dame Judge Judy. <laughs> if you were a judge and then got damed, Dame judge. would you keep both or <laughs> was does one replace the other? Um, I think Lady would replace it because Lady is higher up in the aristocracy in the hierarchy, isn't it? Makes sense to me. Sound that evolves at level 33. Perfect. Let's put this little person in our group. Because it doesn't get take away your title or, or from your profession. But it is more honorific. <coughs> there it is. Dame Judy. Like you could just <laughs> no, be Dame like, Judge. We call it Dame Judge. You called it Dame Judge. It's because you were talking about Judge Judy. I wanted to call it Dame <laughs> Judy. Well, you're the one who makes it. <laughs> well, shit. Dame Judge is my favourite. <laughs> I love Dame Judge. Anyway, Dame Judge, by the way, is also a PhD, so she's a doctor as well. Doctor Dame Judge, yeah. Esquire. <laughs> Amazing. Right, we got a lot of boys to evolve here. Dame, Dame Judge. <laughs> Dame Judge. God damn it. <laughs> <sighs> We're doing all right. <laughs> I can't believe we just ran across one of those after we it said in the Pokedex it didn't know where it hung out. Ooh, who's 
Gerda boy. Uh, oh, his name's actually Gerda. Look at his stupid clown nose. What the hell? That's creepy. It's weird. Why, is it white... born with a Gerda? Does it find a Gerda? <gasps> Does it create its, its own Gerda? Maybe it's born with the Gerda and the Gerda grows too and it's sentient. <laughs> Maybe it's born with it. Maybe it's Gerda leaking. <laughs> Uh, what I don't like are the weird fake veins in his arms and legs. Big, that's... big throbbing veins. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty grim. I'm honest. That Why makes are me you think... sending me lewds, Boris? I just clicked that and that is very lewd. Ooh. You little rascal. Cree -cree. That's another thing. Do like, Pokemon bleed? Uh... Do you prick them? Do they not bleed? <laughs> Ask Crush, she likes to prick <laughs> Pokemon. <laughs> oi, oi. Oi, oi. Oh, he wants to learn Belly Drum. Normally, I don't bother giving new moves to Pokemon I'm never going to use, but Belly Drum, Absolutely. that deserves butter, 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 tackle. Butter, 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 butter. He snorts some powder snow and then <laughs> plays his Belly Drum. What is it? What's the name of the rat? No, the mole. The mole in Super the Smash Bros. party game thing. Something the mole. Oh, Monty. Monty, Monty the mole. Monty the mole when he does <laughs> that little boing! With his belly every time he does anything. And I kept calling him Monty the Mole and you were getting really mad at me. That's because I love Monty. How dare you be so rude Monty's to his little boy. squinty face. Good old Monty Mole. Belly Drum halves the, unit's ha halves the user's HP by half and maximises their attack stat. Holy, Holy shit. Holy crap. Don't underestimate a Belly Drum. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't you do it. In, you're used in conjunction with a citrus berry to get the HP back up to 75%. That's a that's too many numbers for me, I'll be honest. I'm not a very numbers... I've not got, got a lot of strength in numbers. There's only one of you, is basically what you're saying. Shut up. <laughs> I'm not very good at like, not maths. good at ganging up on people. Ooh! Cute bat. Annoying bat. I think called it because he's annoying. I'm guessing he makes lots of noise. Have you got this one? Yeah, we've already caught a noise bat, but we need to kill it so we get the levels up so we can evolve to five Pokemon in our party. So you're just killing stuff now? Just murder hobo in my way across the Pokemon realms. I mean, we always knew it would end up this way. <laughs> just like in real life. Just like the shaman woman said. She's showing an awful lot of thigh. That's why it's lewd. It's not really lewd, guys. I just wanted people in the chat to be like, "Oh, I'll click that link." Oh, sorry, um, Boris. It filters for some word the word waifu, so I have to unfilter it every single week. Ridiculous. Boop. There we go. For smug waifu, you didn't watch and of smugs to scare streams for the numbers provided. Yeah, if you want to be bamboozled by numbers, you should watch some of the. Dis no. I've seen you play enough of that before you started streaming. Yeah, well, it got to the end point, and Boris was showing me how to stack stuff on top of stuff, on top of stuff, on top of. St oh! It becomes pink bird, pink bird. Ah, oh, no, it's not. It's a stupid pink fluffy toy. I thought that was the pink oh, bird no, that we were missing. Oh, cute little teddy bear. I don't like guy. it. Guy, why? He looks like a red panda, but pink. It evolves into a big, scary-looking plush motherfucker. Well, you can just say no. <laughs> you have to consent to the evol evolution, don't you? I hear a little sheepy boy. I love these boys. Kind of yeah, sad we've not come across a single shiny yet, though. Not a natural hey, shiny. Stop doubting our luck, right? Because we've found like two female sal 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 salandits, and there were we had very low odds of actually doing that. It's true. So it's true. Have faith. Have some sheepy faith. Have some sheepy faith. I'd love to cuddle one of those things. It looks like the comfiest Pokemon in the whole world. I'd just like to steamroll over three or four of them into a big fluffy mush and just roll up in it. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, Wooloo's a great name as well. It, it was immediately one of the favourite things. When they like announced the game and leaked a few little bits, everyone fucking loved the Wooloo. There's the ice cream boy Do I was telling have, you about before. Because, like, I know this is supposed to be Scotland or, like, Scotland type of place. UK, isn't it? yeah. Yeah, well, it feels more Scottish with some of the, like, hills and the tartan. But, do they have, like, an Angus cow? And if so, and if not, why not? I don't think there is, like, a big like a Highland, Highland coo. coo. There should be a Highland coo. I don't think there is. There's some, like, yak looking things. Yak, yak. 
There's a, is it a snubble? Looks like a big... <gasps> it's vanilla. It's the vanilla one. It's the ice cream boy. Kind now that looks like a book dazzle look. to death. Ah, oh, brilliant. VG... Ah, oh, this guy says, want to become famous? I can buy followers from him. Excellent. Let me just... Uh, I'll definitely be signing straight Big up for that. Big follows! I don't want to add him as a friend. How do I... There we go. Fucking bam. <laughs> so adding this guy as a friend. There we go. Oh, but he had big follows, Bruce. I could have got some big follows, but I like my little follows. I got lots of lovely little follows. I don't need a big follow. <laughs> he is currently banned. Hey. You know, obviously uh, getting nervous that I got three viewers and we're like, oh man, he's getting too good, too big for his boots, we've got to send him some viruses. <gasps> oh, <laughs> Crush is paying attention. <laughs> no! Check, check. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, um, Smug Doggo decided to leap across the sofa and knocked over the, the microphone. Little bugger. She's very dramatic. She is. She just wanted attention. She's one of those teenage strops. Come on, dog. If you're coming back up, don't knock over the microphone again. <laughs> like, I do what I want. Whatever. I do what I want. You didn't buzz me. <laughs> oh my god, Dad, stop it. <laughs> She's getting to her um, grumpy teenage years. Well, she can go get a fucking job. <laughs> Come on, right horn. Give me that sweet XP I so desperately crave. Yes! Finally! Thugnificent's where we want him to be. <laughs> Why is the dog upside down? <laughs> Why is the dog not always upside down? Hey, And that is a catch. <gasps> Thugnificent is evolving. Is it Scrafty? It is Scrafty. Is he still Thugnificent? Oh, he's even more Thugnificent than ever. Look at that. <laughs> he's Thugnificent yeah, with a mohawk. <laughs> Somebody get that boy some braces. <laughs> Is he like in the middle of shedding his skin? I don't know, but maybe we'll find out. As half-hearted as this Pokemon kicks may seem, they pack enough power to shatter Cold Dunker's concrete pillars. Well, you don't want to. You don't Sounds wanna, like something from Lord of the Rings. You don't want to mess with the Conkledur. Conkledur. Hmm. So the hoodlum Pokemon. I like it. I like that. Also, it feels like it should be a province of Moria. Conkledur. Conkledur. Down in the mines of One of his abilities is shed skin. Oh, I'm good at this. There you go. Right, so we can get rid of Thugnificent now. Big on Thugnificent. Uh, and let's tag back in Iris. Shedskin has a chance of ridding any status ailment on the Pokemon at the end of a turn. Oh, that's kind of cool. Like, if you're that repeatedly getting thing. poisoned or sleepied. Oh, my God. I just turned around. There's a chuffing Snorlax behind me. Yay! I do like a Snorlax. It's because they're good boys. Yeah. And girls. Uh, right, let's have a look in the Pokedex and see what we can catch next. Oh, I can help with that. So we, th we think it's Dejuri's out on Gothrita, right? Yeah. 
We do need these two things. Okay, let's head over here then. But isn't barbacle what? Yeah, barbacle. Yeah, we're going to get that when we evolve yeah, Boris so Bear Arms. So. Toxapex, though. We don't have Toxapex. Number 308. Let's try 270 for Solosis. Maybe we'll all get Solosis of the liver. <laughs> Turn yellow. Uh, Habitat unknown. I bet it's Great. one of them. What about them there? Shieldies. Yarp. Yarp. What is this? A Scalavalier. Escavalier? Oh my god, is he like a little Jesus snaily boy? Christ, what's the point of having a Pokedex oh, if is. all the Pokemon Escargo, are... Escargot, Escargot, Very good. No, good. Yeah. I'm going to put that... So my plan of just going around and finding all these Pokemon isn't going to work, because they're all Habitat Unknown! Oh, apart from this guy. Let's fly here. Have you ever played uh, Fallout New Vegas, Smuggo? Uh, yes, I have. I really, really liked uh, New Vegas, actually. It was probably my favourite one. Uh, I didn't care much for 4, uh, and I haven't played the online one that was a massive flop. Uh, oh, it's obtained through trading, says... Uh, crush, but I don't know which Pokemon he was talking about anymore. Uh, you need to trade a Shelmet for a Carablast, and then a Carablast becomes an Escalavir. Okay. Whew. So we need a Skelmet, whatever that is. Let's just talk to these boys and get some stuff. Where are we going now? Um, I forgot we decided on something, didn't we? And I can't remember what it was. <laughs> See, this is with the two of us, with me on my own. This is just an ender cycle of me going, oh, I'll do this, and then forgetting to do it. <laughs> Should we do little post it notes? Yeah. We should just cover the dog in post it notes. And then just call her over to me every time we need her advice. Keep on digging. Nice. Oh, he's going for ages. This guy never stops. I shouldn't have said that. Seven treasures is pretty good, though. Do you want to just do the one that's next on the list? Yeah, who, who's next on the list? 283. Vullaby? 283. I, we don't know where to get one. I checked its environment and it says Habitat Unknown. Okay, cool. So, um, so the next one we know we can find is Sableye, Sableye, who's supposedly around here somewhere. Let's just check. The... Oh, maybe it wasn't Sableye. Was it? Oh, it was. It was Morley, I think. Yeah. Oh, she's cute. Let's go for Morley. But it looks like it only comes out when it's windy. Is that wind? Is that sandstorm? Maybe. Snowstorm. Well, let's just look around here for a minute or two and see if, if it is snow, then that's good for us. Because that's what we're looking we've got. for. A big old ponytail, and got, if you do I get it, jumps. she should be called Ariana Grande because she's got a big old ponytail. <laughs> okay. I don't, know. I don't know much about that, but I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Mobile doggy wiki. <laughs> I'm gonna waste my false swipes on this guy. Oh no, I didn't realize she's so low on health. Um, nuts. God damn it. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, really good. I'm so sorry, Boris. I like the little I'm sorry that you got your, your girl got beat, but I like. Have you got a little moustache? Yeah, yes he does, and a little bandit mask on. So good. Okay. We have to fly back to town, heal up, and then come back here, because most of our Pokemon are dead, and they're not going to get XP if they're dead. Is that who Daramak is getting there? Alright, let's just quickly pop, pop back to town and heal up.
And Chris says, foul play is an interesting move in that it increases its power the more stat boost the target has. That's cool. Uh, yeah, Boris, actually, we got both the sword and the shield, and then we caught the sword and shield Pokemon as well. So it finally happened. We did it, man. <laughs> we got there. <laughs> Uh, then we went and put them back, because they were old and rusty. Pretty crap. So what do you get when you get all the Pokemons? Do you get, um, like, a big cake? I have cake? no idea. Do you get... A parade. I mean, I'm expecting one. Okay. Uh, not in game. I I expect all the people on the street to come out and celebrate well, my yeah. awesomeness. Obviously. Um, but quick question: Do I have to organise it, or is somebody else organising it? Because I mean, I'll do it. But I just need to know to like put it on my to-do list. Oh, it's your favourite. <laughs> Obstagoon, son of a bitch. Seeing any more of these. Crush will get some rest when you catch all the Pokemon. Yeah. That's what'll happen. Poor, poor old Crush will finally get to put his feet up. Have a biscuit. A cheeky hobnob. What's your favourite biscuit? Uh probably is a hobnob actually, a chocolate hobnob. Really? Yeah. Out of all the biscuits in the universe, you I go think, with a chocolate hobnob. Yeah, I really think I would. It's interesting. I think it's totally mood dependent. Like, if I'm in a good mood, a jammy dodger all the way. Love a jammy dodger. But if I'm feeling like I need a bit of comfort, a custard cream. Maybe a taxi. I'm not a big fan of a taxi. I'm partial to a gold bar, though. You know, at work, on a Friday, we have Biscuit Friday, which is great. Um, <laughs> what, a, what, a whole day of just eating biscuits? Well, it's when our boss comes into the staff room and goes, Oi, oi, lads, got you some um, cheeky gold bars. And so we get some like little little individual biscuits. Even in times of COVID, we get these individual biscuits, which is nice. That sounds because great. Because they're individually wrapped. But when that's the only nice thing, it's a bit bad, isn't it? <laughs> 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 oh, oh, you know what? Stress is really high, but god damn, I do look a gold bar on a Friday. <laughs> Who doesn't like a good, a nice little biscuit? <laughs> what are your thoughts on a big Viscount biscuit? I don't know what that is. The little green foil wrapped minty biscuits. Green biscuits? No, get green foil wrapped. Oh, They're the round ones that taste foil. like mints? Yeah. Uh, pff, I mean, I guess. I love them. Not really a biscuit, is it? It's more like a... What do you mean it's not a biscuit? It's like a chocolatey treat, isn't it? Rather than... What What constitutes... What, how much chocolate to... What's the chocolate to biscuit ratio before? I don't know. It like you wouldn't, you wouldn't call You wouldn't call a Twix a biscuit, would you? I would absolutely refer to a Twix as a, bit, Twix as a biscuit. Like you and I have nothing in common. <laughs> okay, granted, it's in the. It, it, no, you're right. You, I think you're right. Actually, it becomes a chocolate bar, doesn't it? Thought you'd see it my way. But it's because of the shape of it. You don't get round, circular chocolate like chocolate bars. What about a wagon wheel? A wagon wheel is in the biscuit aisle, not in the chocolate aisle. A wagon wheel is not a biscuit. It's got no biscuit in it. It's just chocolate marshmallow. It's got biscuit on the other side, hasn't it? I don't know. I've never had one. You've but never had a wagon wheel? I don't like marshmallow. How do you not like marshmallow? How are we married? <laughs> I don't think we're going to find a Morley here. I don't think so. You can't see Ariana Grande's big old... Um... <laughs> what were you going to say? <laughs> ponytail is what I was going to say. Because she looks like she's got a ponytail. You've just got her groupies all waiting for her here. I, I have read everything you've said there, Crush, about... Um... Power trip and foul play. I'm not. I'm not ignoring you. Just want to level a few of these guys up so I can take a few more off. Because I think we only need two more, and then we can knock my banner down from less than seventy to less than sixty. Mm. I'm very aware I've just like hijacked your chat and started talking about biscuits. Good, it's fine. Cool. They need to know. <laughs> These are the issues that keep me awake at night, so... Oh, Iris has died again. <laughs> oh. Poor Boris, you are dreadful. Look after her, give her a potion or something. Give her a berry. 
Or whatever it's... What is in this one? Give her, a, give her a biscuit. Give her a... But give not a, a wagon wheel, for fuck's sake. Give the girl sakes. a gold bar, alright? Give her a club. And not one of those really crappy orange ones. Give her a mint club. Come on, Billy. Oops, didn't want to do that. Come on, one of you boys better evolve from that. There we go. Okay, cool. Right, we've got another one we can cross off. Sorry, I got a text message. What did it say? You got one? No, we got one we can cross off. Okay, what's he turned into? Oh, he's got two friends this time and they're little missiles. Is he become the one in charge now? He's shooting out his parasites at people. Disgusting. Disgusting. So is this the thing, one you were saying was like beating you up the other day? Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, well, people have... Whenever I fought against people online, this guy comes up quite a bit because he's quite powerful. When it isn't battling, it keeps Dreepy in the holds in its horns. Once a fight starts, it launches the Dreepy like supersonic missiles. Amazing. So can you catch Dreepy on its own as a Pokemon? Yeah, that's what this has evolved out of. So was it initially a Dreepy? Yeah. So do they like separate like mitosis in order to create this Pokemon? I couldn't tell you. I'm not a Pokemonologist. Those, those are the questions that are going to keep me up at night. <laughs> uh, Boris says, for your information, smug waifu, oh. Iris is male. I am so sorry. Misgendering Pokemon for shame. It was Although butt. it does have a girl's name. <laughs> it was the butt because it didn't quit. That was what it was. The name, you know, yeah, too. But. Watch this be a female. I'm about to blow crush his little mind. Oh You're my dude. It'd be hilarious. <laughs> Come on, Azuria. Oh, that's three crush. That's this three. Unrealistic. Fuck you, law of averages. Statistically <laughs> unlikely. We know Azuri can kill one in one hit as well. Excellent. Mwah! 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 <laughs> I love it! <laughs> 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 Just killing it for fun. Didn't even want to be friends with it. Didn't even want to say hello. <laughs> that, was, that one was for you, Crush. I love you. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad. That was brilliant. Are you feeling good? Yeah. I might clip that and post it to Crush every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a bad one. Uh, no. no, 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 no. That's just... From what I know, the female version of that Pokemon has no legs. Not oh. that I know anything about Pokemon. Crush says, A, that was less than a 1% chance. Amazing. Fucking A. It's pointless keep killing zigzagoons, that'll give me any experience. Let's kill something a bit beefier. Bring me your beefiest man! I wish to duel with him. Beefy man. Most lovely. Beefy man, the beefy What are you? Man. What are you? Oh, it's a giant oh, trubbish. Wait, look at that. That's, that looks so like Totoro in the face, it's upsetting me. <laughs> it's a garbage Totoro. It's a garbage Totoro. Fucking deck him, Missouri. Just deck him. Get out of town, Garbage Totoro. Oh, killed Garbage Totoro. Also, if you've got one, have you not named? Can you rename it to Garbage Totoro? Sure. <laughs> Boris says that one looks like a cookie gone wrong. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that cookie. Very fucking wrong. I baked that cookie. Crush, our numbers man, has crunched some numbers and figured out that finding three of those female lizards tonight 
is a 0.375% chance. We should definitely play the lottery tonight. I'm feeling lucky. What is this gross thing? I've seen one of these before. Eldiglass. Well, no point catching it, but we can beat it up and take its experience money. You know what's going to happen is I'm going to find another really rare one that we want to catch and remember that I've not healed Iris and be unable to catch it. Time is a flat circle. You should kill Iris. Uh, um, what? No, you should kill Boris. You hearing you this? You should kill Iris before you, she's killed. You're gonna take that, Boris. This is what I meant to say. I do apologise. You should cure him. Oh well, that's a sign. I've just picked up a revive off the floor, so that's a sign that I should revive Boris. There you go. I do have twenty nine of them. What? Yeah. Do you not like using items then? I don't like using items. I think it's cheating. Why? They're given out specifically to be used. Yeah, but it feels like using healing potions in a in a match is kind of bullshit. I don't know why I think that because it's clearly part of the game. I just. But have... like, would you play Dark Souls without healing? Out of interest. Uh, I wouldn't play Dark Souls again. Full fucking stop. But. I mean, uh... fair. <laughs> fair. It's kind of a part and parcel of the game experience, isn't it? Uh, Otherwise, sure. why do you have little hospitals? Pretty sure we've got this little... This little turtle already, but... It's only cheating if they found out you're using potions, or unless everyone else does it, says, okay. <laughs> Aww, I got a bad you... feeling this thing's gonna kill Iris. <laughs> Stand tall, Iris! Oh, oh, okay, it's fine. We're all good. Oh, heck. Just kill it dead. Kiss it. Know. Kiss is not going to kill it. Alright, then don't do that then. Do side beam. This is effective. It's not going to kill it, and then he's going to hit poor Iris, and Iris is going to die again. And it will be Smug Dog who's fault. <gasps> he's confused. Hurt yourself in your confusion. I command you! Damn it. Uh. Yes! Yay! Go, Iris! Finish him off, Iris! Oh, Iris has absolutely had enough of my own shit and has decided to take his fate into his own hands. <laughs> oh, not a scorpion, not a scorpion, not a scorpion, not a scorpion, not a scorpion. Not a scrappy, not a scrappy, not a scrappy, not a scrappy. I want to go back and find another one of those female lizards. <laughs> That's not a priority. That's absolutely not a priority, but it sure would feel good. <laughs> hey, Driftloons! I love these guys. These are great. I think if I was a Pokemon, I'd probably actually be this guy. It's just like, yeah, cool man. Just, this is a balloon boy. I'm just minding my own business, floating here with my little arms dangling down. <laughs> Floating in the breeze. Yeah, they would go quite well with Hatterene. They look like they could be buddies. A little cloud on my head. Not a care in the world. Oh shit, I forgot to heal Iris. Yeah, you did. It's fine. Oh no, it's not fine. It's definitely not fine. Oh, look at him with his grumpy wisps. Oh! He loves it. Oh shit, what is this? I think that means if I hit it. Yeah. He's going to take me down with him. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry, Iris. I thought we were going to get away with it this time. I was wrong. For the first time. For the first time. Sorry. Yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. That... What? Cool. Yeah, you, never know. Happened before. you know how I'm never wrong, so... I mean... Let's say yes. Oh, I thought it was a new Pokemon, but it was just a yellow dog.
Hello. Oh, it's a bigger version of you. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a big old Drifloon. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Morris. It won't be the last time. This guy's gone from a cloud on his head to like a big scoop of whipped cream. Have you got this guy? I think so, yeah. Why do you always sound so surprised when you see these new ones? And like, oh, I've not seen you before. And well, then you are. I've maybe seen him like once in, we've probably been playing this like 300 hours now. <laughs> Drift Loon! It is absolutely Drift Loon. <laughs> Come on, Daramaka, level up, mate. Why have we still got Buddy on the team? We don't need Buddy anymore. Whoa. Sweet, Chris is coming in with some more fun trivia. Don't, don't say we don't need him anymore. That's pretty uncool. What, Buddy? We yeah. don't. I'm going to kick him out of the party right now. Oh, that's Li really heartbreaking. Literally redundant. You're useless now. I'm gonna change, change his name to useless. Oh, Whale Boy. I like Whale Boy a lot. Huh? He's very good. He's huge. His name is Whale Lord. <laughs> Just brilliant. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I need to evolve. Now, we need a Persian. Can we evolve uh, Crush? Do you know? Can we evolve our Meowth into a Persian? And if so, how? A popular strategy to kill any Pokemon, no matter is no matter their level, is the use of a Fear Rattata. What's a Fear Rattata? F E A R. Stands for Focus, Endeavor, Attack, Rattata. <laughs> So it's a fear endeavor attack rattata rattata. You must breed it, then you can evolve it. Hmm. Seems like a step further than I'm willing to go with a cat. <laughs> Come on, babe, do it for the stream. Um, oh, we do need to level up this sword guy. Uh, Crush, how do we evolve Old Strokey? Why do we call him Old Strokey? Old Strokey! <laughs> oh, that's... Excellent. Just how... as good as Dame Judge. <laughs> Dame Judge. <laughs> There's a lot of drift loons about tonight. That's really good. I like it. I'm glad to see they're getting some exercise. I was going to say stretching their legs, but they haven't got any. <laughs> Oh yeah, now we've got loads of Machops. Now we don't need the little buggers. You needed Machop. I did. For a long old time I needed a Machop. We couldn't find one. We'd got a Machoke and we'd got a Machamp. We didn't have a Machop. Well, how do you cope? The strategy is that a Pokemon hurts you and drops you down to 1 HP thanks to surviving with Focus Sash. Using Endeavor, which helps bring the opponent down to your HP, in this case being 1. And then using Quick Attack, which is Priority Move. Ah, that's actually pretty clever. Unless the enemy uses Priority Move for their own first. Yeah, I was going to say, what if they use Quick Attack and their base speed's higher than yours? Then you're in for a bad time. Of course, the chances of that happening are about as likely as running into three female lizards in a row. Ah, Steelix! <sighs> Another fucking Steelix out of nowhere. Ah, to evolve the swords, you need to use a Dusk Stone. Excellent. We have one of those, Ooh. I think. So that might be an easy cross-off. So you actually could use a level 1 Rattata to beat a level 100 Arceus. That's pretty badass, man. I'd like to see that happen. Come on, Dame Judge. Oh, no, that's it. That's what we needed. Dame Judge as well. Pretty sure they should level up now. Yes, Dame Judge! That is another catch. Dame Judge is evolving. Oh god, oh. is this the thing that there's Oh, that, yeah. That makes sense. That seems unnecessarily. 
That thing was made for Rule 34. Slazzle's data will be added to the Pokedex. Look at those thighs. Only female Slazzle exist. They emit a gas laden with pheromones to captivate male standlets. That has sex with the little version of it. It's a it's a uh, cougar. The cougar Pokemon. Dame Judge, the cougar Pokemon. I mean, it makes sense. We've named her after Judge Judy. <laughs> and Dame Judy Judy. I don't care about these moves. Ace. Get out of here, Dame Judge. You've, you've embarrassed yourself. Mutton dressed as lamb. Hey, don't shame her. Uh, cool. Right, let's see if we've got Dusk Stone and then we can get our sword, boys. Huh. Sweet. The. I opened the inventory up and it landed on Dust Stone. I've probably got 100 items in my inventory and the first thing that came up was Dust Stone, which is what we were looking for. You're good luck, you are. That's what that is. You're welcome. Increasing my luck tenfold. Luring out all the female lizards. That thing is just ridiculous. I'm very excited to see what it turns into. But we can't even get his sword out anymore. <laughs> Tragedy, really? <laughs> Old Strokey really is too old. <laughs> old Strokey can't get it up anymore. At six, boys. We're so getting there. What number was him? What number was he? Uh, he is number 332. Aegis Slash. In this yeah. defensive stance, Aegis Slash uses its steel body and a force of field spectral power to reduce the damage of any attack. <gasps> that is five Pokemon core or something. Six. One, two, three, four, five. What else did you get then? I don't know, but... I've only caught... Scruffed off three... Oh dear. Well, you've obviously not been paying enough attention. What did we catch? Uh, what's the one that we just put away? Uh, Bardable. Have we caught four Bardable? No. Uh, no, we're still waiting for Billy. Oh, Buddy. What was Buddy? He was right down the bottom. He was like one of the last Pokemon Dragapult. to catch. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Okay, cool. I knew we caught six. Well, what's, what's the plan now, Stan? Um, I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. Okay. Um, How about we go for one of the next ones on the list? Okay. So there was like a rocky... Toxapex, was a, Toxapex. is one that we need, and it's one that's... Hopefully. Suggested. Yeah, hopefully by the time we get there, we'll have Billy... High enough level to be a barbacle. Cool. Okay, so let's go for the Toxapex. Which apparently hang around area 9. Uh, we shall heal up first, though. because Yeah, because Iris is down. The Pokemon Zangoose and Sir Viper are mortal enemies and will fight to the death should they encounter each other. Despite this, they're both in the field egg group and are therefore able to breed together. <laughs> I like to imagine it's hate fucking. <laughs> oh jeez. Right. Uh, before we head to Route Nine, I'm gonna go visit the little smokes room. I'll be back in just one second, guys.
Out of turn! Pokemon are we actually on now? We've done it! Right, I can change, I can update the text. Here you go, Boris. This is something for you to take a picture of. Gone from 70 to go to less than 60 to go. Okay, right, now we're heading to Route 9. Catch ourselves a big spiky boy. So, Crush, have you got any tips that's going to help me catch a Toxapex? Uh, looks like it's out. The good news is it's out all times of day and night and all weather, which is good. The stream name says less than 100 to go. Um, mm, okay. Well, it is less than 60, so says the top banner, which is the current one. <laughs> I mean, it's technically still right. Yeah, I mean, less than 100 is is the same as less than 60. Right, so where are we going to find this Toxapex? Oh, you're kidding me! Well, fine. We can just catch a Boris Bear Arms. We don't need no Billy. We can catch ourselves a new Billy. A bigger Billy. New Billy. We're gonna call him New Billy. Billy Two. Billy Billy. Billy Two Electric Boogaloo. Oh, not hail. That's fine. He's not affected by hail, so that no, he is. Shit. Okay, that's going to be a problem when we try and catch this fucker in a minute. I hate trying to catch stuff in the snow area because they constantly take damage. There's no point in just getting to one HP because the weather kills them. You've got to hurt them enough so they don't die without them being killed by the snow. Billy. 203. You have a 20% chance of finding a Toxapex walking around in the grass outside of Spikemouth. Well, we are pretty lucky dudes. This has been a night for good luck, that's for sure. Okay, so Hale should just chip him down a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you sharpen your claws, see what happens. I can't hurt them enough so they do not die, Smug 2020. You put that on my gravestone, mate. Oh, fuck off. Got killed by the snow. Doesn't matter, we're about to evolve our own anyway. We didn't need you. Yeah, it was a test and you failed. <laughs> Obviously weren't good enough to be part of the crew. The smug massive. <laughs> oh, oh, he's found you. He's going to get you. Ah. He's like a fish. <laughs> Hideous. Fish? Hideous remoraid. Yeah, you're not a big fan of the fish. I do not like the fish. Do you like the Swedish fish, though? Um, Crush is a Swedish fish, so I have to say yes. I'm obligated. Okay. He's Swedish. That makes sense. And a fish. Oh, okay, cool. I mean, I don't know if he's actually a fish, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't have legs. Oh, I got jumped by an octopus. This guy's defending Crush's Mondays, armor. Mondays, am I right? <laughs> Hashtag just smug things. <laughs> well, with all the tentacles, yeah. And he's super effective to being kissed as well, so... Crap locked. He looks ominous. Nothing with that many tentacles should look so ominous. <laughs> yeah. 
No, that's crushed. That's why I don't like fish, because they don't have feet. That's the one one reason I can't stand fish. If they had little fish feet, I'd be on board. Come on, Billy. Level up, Billy. Billy. Yes, Billy. Good boy, Billy. Oh, look at his little hands waving goodbye. See you, Billy. <laughs> it was nice being your friends. Oh, yeah, my Billy. My Billy evolved. My Billy got bigger. <laughs> oh, babe. Do you feel proud of that? Seven binacle come together to form one barbaracle. The binacle that serves as the head gives orders to those serving as the limbs. Huh. Well, there you go. Oh, my lord! Come on, Toxapex, where are you? No, uh, oh, I got whaled. Smug, that's not true. I've seen one fish in a game that had feet. Uh, Alright, I'm intrigued. What fish have you seen that has feet? If what? it's Ariel from The Little Mermaid, it doesn't count. Was it a, technically not a fish. Was it a kipper wearing slippers? <laughs> was it a pike wearing Nikes? Really proud of that one. I was very happy with that. <laughs> My little fishy feet puns. Fishy feet oh, why did I do that? He's not even here. Oh, look at this whale bouncing on me. Sorry, Iris. Have you killed Iris again? Well, she's not dead. Hey. She's, he's just been flattened by a whale and now paralyzed from the waist down. <laughs> oh, okay, he's fine. <laughs> as long as I still got access to that sweet, sweet ass. I'm still waiting to find out what fish Boris has seen that has feet. What kind of weird freakish aquarium have you been to? <laughs> oh, oh, is this Eka saying I'm right? Why am I right? I have no idea. Oh, well, yay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come Humanity. on. Now we've already got all these jerks. We need a Toxapex. Which is supposed Ooh. to be around here. Oh, there's a Pokeball up there. Alright. I'm going to Toxaflex on this Toxapex. Oh, boy. It's a game from where the origin horror meme is from. And for the info, it has nothing to do with JoJo. I have yet to see JoJo. Looks like a truly bizarre adventure. Pelippers, no thank you. Whatever this little thing is. It's like a little sea urchin. Oh, I'm not sure we've that got... could be a Toxapex, you know. I thought they'd be bigger. Oh. oh. <laughs> Marini. It did look a little bit like a Toxapex. Because it's, it's mean and marine. Have you got a Marini? Yeah, I do. Quite, it's quite cute though. I'm a bit tired of JoJo references. They are fun, but they're obnoxious nowadays. I've never even seen JoJo, so think how obnoxious the references are when I see them. I'm like, I don't know what you mean. What do you mean? What do you mean, JoJo's? Can we just evolve a Toxa Toxapex from a Marini? Are they part of the same... I don't know, they look quite similar, didn't they? Well, I honestly thought they were, because they looked huh. very much like what I thought it would look like. Yeah, that could be it, right? Be it. That could be it. <gasps> oh, Yay! Yeah! Nice one, girl. You wait until Attack on Titan releases last season. You only watched the first season of that, didn't you? I did watch the first season of that. And Apparently, it, it actually gets a bit more story orientated in this, the latest season. Unless seasons. just out and out gore, because I wasn't a fan. No, not a fan of gore? Not particularly, no. I haven't watched any of it. I think I've seen about half of one episode. There's really some obnoxious, snotty looking kid, and I was like, yeah, this isn't for me. Yes, fair. You really 
No, when there's like a really snotty nose kid in it, it's not for you. You know it's not going to be something you enjoy. Don't spit up on me. It's gross. Well, you know that, like, Fruits Basket has been my jam. Yeah, I've really been enjoying Fruits Basket as well. I'm looking forward to the last season of that. I think it's going to be it's really a good. It's heavy, and I think it has to, in order to kind of get through some of the stuff. Mm. Anyway. And Boris says he watched the first season as well and got bored of it. Oh, but Attack on Attack, Titan? Attack on Titan, yeah. Interesting. I know lots of people who love it. And um, the premise intrigued me, but it just felt like it wasn't going anywhere narratively. And... It's me, tricky with a lot of anime, it, it can really kind of get like that. Yeah. Like you can end up watching something that goes on and on and has absolutely no sort of story arc or resolution. Um... I, I find that really frustrating. Um... Yeah, I'm with you, Boris. I, actually, I I prefer reading manga to watching it. Same, anime. actually, same. Like I, I could devour. I mean, I did when we were in full on lockdown. I went from volume, I think it was volume thirteen, all the way to the end of Fruits Basket, um, in about a week and a half. Woo! Crit catch on Toxapex. I hadn't read them since I was about seventeen, so it was quite nice. Crush says he was never interested in Attack on Titan. Echo says it was an interesting premise, but it was overblown. The end was more questions on top of existing questions. That's why I ran out of steam with um, Death Note as well. Yeah. When it started getting like, he suspects that 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 he suspects, that he suspects he's the killer. And I'm like, ah, uh, I'm done with this. Yeah, because it doesn't feel like there's any, any actual crafting going on. It's just a bran forever branching storyline of wild that guesses keeps, that, that happen to be correct with. whereas like something like like i'm a massive fan of the sandman by neil gaiman it's one of my favorite comic books ever and it's because even the most incidental of moments in one of the first earliest comic in, in one of the first earliest um chapters of the story has something to do with like, like the end of it it all ties together at some point or there's a little subtle reference to it and it it rewards you for finding that, which is nice. It never felt like you would ever be rewarded with any information. Mm. To survive in the cold waters of Galar, this Pokemon forms a dome with its legs, enclosing its body so it can capture its own body heat. The Brutal Star Pokemon. Pew. Excellent, look at that, cross both of those off. Creators underestimate how satisfying is uh, a reader watcher to guess deduce what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, it kind of, yeah, that's the problem, isn't it, with all sort of, like, whodunit mysteries and stuff, they can either really pay off or they can really, really not, and you think, either, that's so obscure, how's anyone ever supposed to get that, or mm. go, that's so fucking obvious, I saw that coming a mile away. Yeah, it's difficult to do now, like, I remember the first ever big plot twist I ever watched in anything was in Sixth Sense. I think that the time has gone now where I'd have to say spoiler warning for that. Surely. Yeah, that's that's fair. I that's think it, fair the rule game. is ten years. I think so. Okay, so that's a fair game. But I remember my little mind being blown when I watched that film for the first time and and just completely utterly shocked by it. But yeah, they've become passe. Yeah, Eckers just said that we're in a trend at the moment of subverting expectations. So you kind of expect it to go the opposite way that you yeah. think it's going to. I mean, when Disney do it in Frozen, like... I've not seen it. Well, they, they do that. The guy you think is the good guy is not the good guy. The bad guy. And you're like, oh no! Except you're like, yeah, of course he is. He's weird. Obviously. Right, let's see who's next on the old decks. We have Stonejourner. So, let's head to Route 10. He's a weird looking guy. Right, off to Route 10. He was around here somewhere, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, I think he was around here somewhere. Hey, little dog. Around here somewhere. I loved Log Horizon. They give you hints that you can deduce what's going to happen. And it's not super obvious, but it's very satisfying. Yeah, I need to find a few more things like that. Um, ooh. Ah! Stop chasing me, cat! Angry cat. Right, I'm sure it was around here somewhere. Oh, not down that. Okay, so it's just above where we are. 
somewhere on this this pathway. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Fuck! That bear was huge! Came at me on all fours. Oh. Is there like another path? Off. Hmm. I mean, that's a big old house, isn't it? Bit excessive. It's a bit much. It'd be a nightmare to clean all those windows. Have I misread this? Because there's only one path. Let's see if it hangs out anywhere else. So right where I am. Wild zone. And that's it. Alright. Well, I, I think here's probably a better place to try than... All weather as well. Perfect. Local trainer runs from polar bear that wanted a hug. That polar bear can stick a hug right up its ass. I'm not interested. Why? It's got a big cold beard. Look at it. It's got a beard made of snow. If that thing hugs me, whoa, I'll be so cold. Um, oh, we need another Mr. Mime uh, because we need to evolve it. And we, we gave Naz our Mr. Mime because he looks really creepy as shit. Naz? Hmm? No, this Miss. <laughs> I, I gave... Oh! Yeah, I gave my Mr. Mime to Naz because Mr. Mime's got mutton chops. <laughs> he looks like something from a 70s glamour rock band. Uh, let's heal Iris up first, I think. Look, it could legit be a muddy holder. Trivia. Uh, Boris says I can recommend a manga called Solo Live. Solo leveling for a read. Ooh. Not the bag. Not the bag. Uh. Just got a stack of new manga the other day, didn't I? I got a uh, fourth volume of. Um. um Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, uh, Volume Six of um, Interviews with Monster Girls. Uh, what else do we get? Uh, volume Fourteen of Watamote, and there's one more. Um, oh, oh, um, don't tease me, Nagatoro Volume Four. Amazing, so good. I love it. I really recommend it. You should all buy it right now. <laughs> I'm not on commission, but just do it. Right, I reckon we'll catch this Mr. Mime, figure out how to evolve him, catch this big stony boy, and then we'll be done for the night. We should be able to get that done in 15 minutes, I reckon. I like the spirit. The moxie. People don't use the word moxie enough anymore. This guy's got to stop beating up on Iris. I don't like his moxie. All right, creepy boy. Next time I go into town to heal up, you gotta remind me to buy some more balls. Specifically, great one. I need some more balls. Yeah, because great balls are the greatest of balls. Some will tell you they're not as good as ultra balls, but they are the greatest of balls. Uh, if that sum is Crush, I mean, I'm I'm listening to Crush. And what are we gonna call our new Mister Mime? I was going to go with, like, Snoddy, like, Noddy Holder, or Slade. Mutton Chops. Moxie is an ability that increases the attack stat after defeating a Pokemon. There you go. Mm. For Smog's recommendations, I've read all of them, only the last one not. I see a bit of it, and I'm not in bullying. Ah, I'm not into bullying either, uh, Boris, but there's just something about it. I don't know whether it's the art style, or how relatable... Uh, the senpai um, or paisen is, but it's just something I absolutely adore about it. Which one's got bullying in? Are you bully? Uh, 
It's called Don't Bully Me, Miss Nagatoro. <laughs> right, okay, I didn't hear that bit. Well, I mean, the, the actual release is called uh, Please Don't Toy With Me, Nagatoro, I think. But I think they just did that so it didn't have the word bullying in it. I don't know. Oh my god, what? Look at this guy. Oh no, don't chase me! Is it bullying? Am I about to judge you for reading bullying stuff? Uh, well, yeah. Well, you should read it and find out. I mean... No. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it could be misinterpreted as bullying, but you kind of get... Uh, it's just it's a bit of harmless teasing. So, I've not seen this big stone jerk anywhere. I'm guessing he's not hiding in the grass, because he's going to be too big for that, surely. Oh, it's a little snom. Snom's really cute. Looks like he's got a little butt on his face. I think we need a snom, not to be a snom, but to... I don't think we've got the evolved form of snom. I could be wrong. But I just like saying the word snom. We need a snom, not to be an actual snom, but to be an evolved snom. So cute. It's got a move called Struggle Bug. <laughs> Adorable. Oh no, catch the snom. Prepare to be caught, snom. You're my number one. <laughs> All right, laugh in my face. <laughs> that was a beautiful poetic metaphor. My love for you is like a snob. He's <laughs> <laughs> got a little butt face. He does have a little butt on his face. It's just like you. Hey. I was talking to the dog. Hey, little, butt. little butt face dog. You're a butt face. I'm gonna call Snum Smug Doggy. <laughs> <laughs> butt face. Thing, smug doggy. Don't call that little butt face snug smug doggy. She's gonna knock over the microphone again. Hey, smug snooze. Get off the mic. Ooh, you little bugger. Smug snooze. Smug no, snooze. it's not snomage. Smug snom. Smug snomage. It's a smug judge. Like... Uh, Crush says it'd be easy to find this big stone guy in the wild zone, but. <laughs> supposed to be here somewhere. Supposed to be here. It says I told you to go to the wild area, and then I got told off for saying Snob is adorable, not to call it a butt face. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who's telling you off? <laughs> You're not talking bad about Snobby. Oh, I'll fill it water oh up. My God, you I better not have been full. You better not have been. <laughs> a little bugger. Okay, Crush, I'll take your word for it. We'll head to the wild zone, mate. You better you find it immediately. Whereabouts in the wild zone is it? We'll fly up to here because this is accessible from everywhere and then we'll check the Pokedex. Go to the wild zone and get the stone journal or I won't get you that selfish. I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I'm, I'm on my way. I love this guy. Hey, smug waifu. Just one thing before I go and follow Crush's specific advice. Look at this guy! It's a wheezing wearing top hats! Amazing. Why is he so fancy? Ah, he's British. We're all very posh. <gasps> that's the guy I was talking about when I said before, the one that looks like a Highland Koo. That's the closest one I can think of. I mean... A snobble, I, I think. Or a snobox? Pillow oh. swine! <laughs> Look at his little eyebrows! <laughs> Okay, we need to head to the Lake of Rage further north. Oh, we've already got a Pillar Swine. Uh, let's just steal his XP. And then we'll head to the Lake of Rage. Jesus Christ, Pillow Swine. Take it in. Jeez, take it down a peg. Oh no, Iris. Run, Iris, run. Flee. Right, we're going north. I think we have to go around. The 
Lake of Rage. Oh, come on, you can jump. Mm, that lake looks too small. That's more like a pond of rage. Mm, that looks too moon shaped to be the lake of rage. Oh, zigzagoon. Town map. We're looking for the Lake of Rage. The Raging Lake. That's the Lake of Outrage. Is that the same thing? Probably the same thing. Oh, I'll do it after this crush. I completely forgot. Lake of Outrage. That's the one. Woo! We've got that big zip zappy golem thing. I don't think we have. I'm just going to double check. I don't remember seeing this guy before. Oh no, I think we have actually Dusk Noir. Pretty sure we have. Oh yeah, we got the shiny one, didn't we? That's why I don't remember catching one. Because we got gifted a shiny. Okay, Crush, we are at the Lake of Outrage. Where do we need to go from here? It's outrageous lake. Go across the lake, okay. Ah. Do you reckon it'll be on this little island over here? Oh, okay, it's on the little bit where we caught the Hatterini. Okay. Let me just check this little island first. This might be something cool on here. Nope, just two jerks on bikes. Some fruits in the tree. See you, jerks! Uh, got some grubbishes. Uh, I hit them on top. That's fine, we've got all these things. These are all things we have. Imagine it would be somewhere around here in this big stone looking area. All the Pokemon in the world disappeared. Where are they all at? Okay, so apparently it's in the grass around here. That's cool. And Crush is going to tell me it's going to be like a 2% chance drop. And then I'll blow his mind by finding it in one go. And then it'll die, and then we'll catch the next one that we see. <laughs> yeah, because Iris will be dead. Yeah. Stop being paralyzed, Iris. Yeah, because that's how it stops. <laughs> Just shout at paralyzed people until they get better. Just stop it already. I'm, I'm oh, not okay. a doctor, so. Let's fix up Iris. Hey, look, it's a little ditto. Oh, I forgot to kill a Pyrus. That's fine. It's not the thing we want. What's our percentage chance of finding one of these things, Crush? Are we going to be here all night? Because we have about three and a half minutes left of the stream. <laughs> I don't want you to work miracles, but if you could make it be the next Pokemon we find, that would be great. Right, 
heal up Iris before I forget. Ooh. What? Well then. Use one of your revives. You haven't got. Oh no, you don't need a revive. I've got one antidote. I don't think I've ever used an antidote this entire game. But use it now. Oh wait, that's poison, isn't it? Yeah, that's not going to do us any good at all. What we want is paralyze heal. And have a hyper potion as well, because I'm feeling generous. It's in the grass. It's a two percent chance. Okay, so what you're telling me is we're we're not finding it tonight. Hey, have faith. You're right. We should have faith. We've got. Two and a half minutes. I reckon I can find one. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not him. Oh, I would have been amazing if it was. That would have been so good. It would have been really good. But no, I just ran into this guy's ass when I wasn't paying attention to where I was going. He looks a lot like the Heartless. That you, that yes! Sense. I know exactly what you mean. I get Should strong hurt, Heartless vibes from him. He's a right meanie. We should go back and finish off... Um, Kingdom Hearts. Uh, I have finished Kingdom Hearts. Have you? Yeah. Oh, so you should, we should go back and finish Kingdom Hearts 2. No, because Kingdom Hearts 2, they do the card stuff, and it was just completely unplayable when I tried to play it. Fair enough. I don't like card games in, vid in video games. Like, you don't need to join the two up. Gwent can do one. I said it. I don't said let it. Veru hear you say that. I said it. Uh, got just over a minute left to keep trying to find this one. This two percent chance Pokemans. That's clever. He's a pretty cool little dude as well. Look at this little leg, and it's quite nice. Is he like new for this? Stomp, stomp. Yeah, he's one of the ones. That's quite nice, considering so many of our towns are based on old Roman towns and stuff. Nice, I like that. Stop chasing me, hit my top. <laughs> I like the way they just pop out the ground. I really hate it. I think it's so <laughs> lazy to have such a crap draw distance. Isn't it silly? It's kind of fun. Uh, this isn't what we want. Come on, get me this stone and Jim, Jimmy Jam, Jimmy Janga. I want a stone Jimmy Changa. Can we order some Mexican food? No, we can't order Mexican food. We've already had two. Just want chimichanga now. Do you really want chimichanga, or mm, just do you like the really. idea of chimichanga? I think I like the idea of it more than I've actually liked one. I think they're quite heavy. Oh, cool! Tie dye T-shirt. Cool. Come on, stone jamanga. Nope. <laughs> it's a pangoro. Aww. Hmm. Leaves. Well, that's it. Two hours are up. No Storm and Jim Jim Jumanga for us this week. But next week for sure, because Crush has very kindly said that he will uh How do you even say it? What is it? Storm Storm Jona. Storm Storm I thought I'd try and trick us by pretending to finish the video and then accidentally finding one more that would be the right one. Oh I see what you did but, there. Uh, that's that's some the fates, gold. The fates saw through me. That's some full on content content level gold right there. Well thank you Crush for the um, offer to find me one of these Stony Boys for next week and uh, the other one too. Cool we're going to leave it there. Thanks for joining me guys. It's been a pleasure seeing you all. It's been a pretty rough couple of weeks but uh, you guys always cheer me up so uh, I'll see you all next week. Oh, Boris, what happened to the printy game? The printy game will finish. I just need to find an appropriate slot for it. I was talking to Crush about it the other day, and it was like, do I plan a two-hour stream and potentially do it in five minutes, or do I plan like a half-hour stream and then it takes me six hours like it did the other night? Who knows, but I, I will finish it off, and I will play through the second one as well. That's happening. Um, yes, I won't forget the dog I pick either. Cool. Catch you later, Boris. Cheers, Ruby. Cheers, Crush. Cheers, Boris. Cheers, Echo, and anyone else who's there. Peace.